Lightsabers appear to show properties of lasers, plasma, and old school swords. Laser is an acronym for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Basically, they're photons traveling together at the same wavelength. Plasma is kind of like a gas, except instead of being bound to a nucleus, positive and negative electrons are free to move around. It's like a soup of charged ions and electrons. The northern lights, lightning, and the sun are all examples of plasma. But there are a few problems to consider when making a real-life lightsaber, like from Star Wars. In the films, lightsabers appear to extend to a length of about three feet. But real-world lasers that are made of light keep going until something stops them. Plasma could theoretically be contained in the shape of a lightsaber with a well-designed electromagnetic field. But since plasma is made of charged particles, it's attracted to other plasma. So dueling lightsabers wouldn't clash with each other. They'd combine. I hate it when I get my Schwartz twisted! And since plasma often burns at millions of degrees, a plasma lightsaber would be way too hot to hold in your hand. But what if lightsabers used lasers? On the electromagnetic spectrum, each frequency of radiation contains a different amount of energy. Within the visible spectrum, violet light contains the most energy, and red light contains the least. For this reason, a green lightsaber would have more energy than a red one. So theoretically, if lightsabers were real, it's unlikely that a red Sith lightsaber could break a green Jedi one, as they rarely did in the Star Wars Expanded Universe. And besides, light can't block or break other light. Visible light is mostly harmless. The laser systems developed by the US Navy use invisible infrared radiation, which has a lower wavelength than visible light and is typically felt as heat. But these weaponized lasers require a vast energy and cooling system way too big to fit in the palm of your hand. So if technology is one day advanced enough to shrink these weapons to a handheld size, it would likely be an invisible beam of infrared radiation that functions more like a gun. And it would need a massive power source, not as cool looking, and it couldn't block another lightsaber. And since light doesn't make noise, you'd probably have to make the lightsaber sound with your mouth, like you already do. 